Howdy. Welcome. We're Team 7. We're here to present our delivery of River Tree Academy. Okay, to start off with our development concept, obviously you need to address what the need is. Um, the need in this slide is portrayed through the four <coughs> comp components of the River Tree Academy. That is, love well, learn well, work well, lead well. Now, our plan fits into this need because we've broken into two categories. Those two categories would be feasibility and practicality. So, breaking down into how we kind of uh, laid out all the buildings on the site, um, obviously we have the floodplain there, so we can't touch anything there. Um, our idea was to try to kind of condense the campus of the school into a closer area, keep utilities down, and also more feasible for the kids. So, we have the school on top, the cafeteria and gym, which is a separate building, so they can get shut down, or so the school can be shut down during the week, but that can remain open. The dorms, the barn, and then the teacher's housing. The teacher's housing is kind of isolated. That way that the teachers can have a sense of work and home so they're not like, in the school all the time. Um, the barn is in the center, oriented here so that it has the view of the pond and the orchard, so that would be the most beautiful view on the site. So first thing is getting into the cafeteria and gym. Uh, we have the cafeteria on the left side, the gym on the right. This is looking from the dorm, so the school would be behind. And then the middle is where all the kitchens in the back of the house would go. Um, so here are some images of what the gym would look like on the inside and the cafeteria. Next we're going to get into the barn. Um, as you can kind of see in the barn, it's still a very simple open area uh, with a nice little decorative light or uh, puncture in the wall to create the cross. Um, with this large back porch, I would have that view back to the pond and to the orchard behind. Uh, on the back side of the barn, it's two stories. It's the only two-story component of the entire site. Um, and upstairs would be a bridal suite as well, so they could turn to a venue for weddings. Next thing is we're going to go to the dorms. Uh, in the dorms, how it's oriented is there's a large central area for all the kids that live in that dorm to kind of hang out and converse. But then there are four individual pods, uh, which would kind of serve as the students' house. So they would be in their individual pods. That could kind of be their family with an RA there uh, with their own little dining area that they could have snacks and meals and kind of congregate there. Next is the school. The school is pretty, pretty much a simple U shape, um, which would work really well for phasing, where you can just kind of stop and then add as you go. Um, all the central functions, like the library and the admin area, are in the central corridor, and then all the uh, classrooms are on the wings. Um, this creates a real cool courtyard in the middle where you could have exterior classrooms. Um, another interesting feature about the school is that on all these walls where there's the uh, casework and all that, those walls can are partition walls that can be collapsed to create a wider space because studies show that uh, students learn more in a larger area, like a studio environment. So here are just some more images of the school. This is kind of looking down uh, one of the main hallways with all the, ex the glass on the exterior wall kind of um, bringing the nature into the building as well. So lastly is, are the houses. It's a pretty simple 3-2 plan. Um, nothing all that grand about it, but it really, really works. I think it's a, a pretty functional design um, with a large family area and then the master on one side and the other uh, bedrooms on the other. So those are kind of the, the buildings. Uh, an interesting kind of thing that we try to do is try to incorporate a um, common design uh, style, which we kind of went with a prairie. The houses are a little bit different because we, I kind of want them to stand on our own. Um, but throughout the project, uh, any stone, it kind of represents the structure. It's solid, so that's where all the structural components and then all the wood and glass are non-wood bearing. Okay, to get into the actual delivery of this project, uh, we broke it into four phases. In phase one, it's actually going to be a 12-month period of construction. Listed here, you'll see the uh, different entities that will be delivered as well as the total square footage. Um, phase two is going to be a nine month delivery period from start to finish. Phase three will be a ten month delivery from start to finish. Phase four is actually going to be a seven month construction period. The following video is a visual representation of the installation of the 
So this is the phase A. It's, it's, it's actually the school building is U shaped, but for the phase A, we're going to just include this section like the L shape and the structural wood framing. So we have to have four dormitories in all. Uh, the capacity would be fifty students each. The structure of the dormitory and the school are pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. So as I said, this is the concrete construction. Red bar is the centerpiece of this point. This building can be accessed from the alternative ground so as to not disturb the school activities. It is a steel frame construction. This building looks like the barn on the outside, but on the inside, it is a fully functional community center for this facility. This is school phase B. Phase B. This is the second phase of the school building which will be constructed during the phase two recording and will be built in the summer of 2017. This construction is similar to the phase A of the school. This project consists of 10 residential houses built to serve the faculty members of the school. Each house is a three bed, two bath house with a wood frame construction having an area of approximately 23 square square. Okay, in terms of activation, uh, we actually um, took a step back and actually tried to figure out what it was that the vision statement of River Tree Academy is. And there it's stated up there, as well as the handout in front of you. Uh, as far as marketing, as we know, this project is basically built on equity from investors and donations. So one of the approaches that we, Team 7, used was we went back to the four P's of the basics of marketing, which is price, place, product, and promotion. These are sort of guidelines in which the River Tree Academy professionals should ask themselves when it is that they're putting together a marketing strategy for this project. In terms of facilities management, um, based on all the criteria listed, the overall one year after completion on construction, the one year uh, price for operations is 1.75 million. Um, one thing I do want to note, I do understand it is a lot of numbers, but is this sinking funds? This is actually occurring on a 5% interest over each month as it passes throughout the year. Okay, uh, the next four slides, we're going to talk about adding value. What, what value is added to, these, uh, to this project from, you know, obviously us delivering these buildings? The ones I do want to pick out or point out would be obviously the safety and security because um, this is a, going to be a school project. So obviously security is a big one. Economic value, I want to show to you guys and bring to your attention the actual uh, property value and how it jumped 
This is actually based on the Collin County 